Hey everyone, we're going to have a look at the first flush with Max Chamber, the catch all T, and the electronic release valve. So it's got a few elements which make up the system, uh, and each are going to give you some great benefits. I'll start in the middle first. So this is the Max Chamber. It's designed to increase the volume of water you can catch and divert while using a shorter area. So the central diversion chamber here, it swells out in size to use a larger diameter pipe. Uh, that means you can catch more water in a shorter space, which means a more meaningful first flush diversion. If we have a look at the top, we've got the catch-all tee. Now this ensures that dirty water is effectively directed away from the tank, which means better quality water. The shape of the tee here forces the water uh, into the diversion chamber. It's sort of got to jump in. Now on a standard tee piece, like this one here, even under moderate flow rates, maybe one litre a second, or which is about a quarter of a gallon per second, water can sometimes start to skip past the tee and then it can travel to your tank even before your first flush is finished. But the elongated shape here means that the water's got to jump across this way into the tee and end up in this chamber to ensure that no water scoots past through this pipe before the first flush diversion is finished. Now, if we look at the base, we've got the electronic release valve. This can be set uh, according to how often you want to do diversion. So you can set it to a really short period of time, uh, perhaps every couple of days. So maybe you've got uh, more debris on your roof. And if you set it every couple of days, it's gonna flush more regularly. But you might choose, or you might think that you don't wanna flush it so often uh, because you're gonna be discarding that amount of water every time. So you can set it up to perhaps every month uh, if you need to, or anywhere in between, a few days in a month. And the rule of thumb is the shorter the time period you set it to, the more often it's going to divert, which means you're gonna get really great quality water, uh, although you'll lose a little bit more water. Not lose, but just discard a bit more. If you set it to a longer time period, it means that you'll catch more water because you're not discarding this volume so regularly. Uh, so you'll get more water, but the quality might be a little bit less because you've got a bit more time for dirt to build up on the roof. So that's the first flush with the catch-all T max chamber and electronic release valve. Make sure that you catch all the dirty water, which means that you're gonna get cleaner water in your tank. Do it in a shorter amount of space with the larger diameter and get really great control with the valve.